Welcome to the COMC High School Football Coaches Show brought to you by the wonderful folks at Central Ozarks Medical Center, hy V in Osage Beach and Jefferson City, New Spring Wellness Center, Polylift Boat Lifts, and the great folks at Smoke and Jones and Jones Outpost. And welcome to Camdenson, home of the Lakers. We're here with the man, the myth, the legend, more so this week than <laughs> last week after an incredible comeback. Jeff Shore is with us. Coach, thanks for taking the time as always. Hey, I'm not the legend. The kids that played on the game Friday are kind of legends on that one. That's <laughs> oh a, that was a big gosh. that was a big win. I tell you, our players, um, that was one of the, the biggest, uh, maybe the biggest comeback we've ever had with the amount of time. I think we've come back from more points down, but not in the amount of time that we had to do it in. You came back in the fourth quarter, what, about 10 minutes to go? Yeah, I think we were down 25 to seven with around 10 minutes to go. Ooh. And our our kids really, uh, and they just, and they showed it all night long and kept believing and, you know, showed no cracks in the foundation. As we say, they, they you know, nothing on the sideline but, but positiveness, you know, uh, and uh, it really paid off. Wow, okay, so a big comeback down from 19. You end up winning it. What what turned it? What you know, you're down, you're you were down all game, looked like you were out from the outside. What what changed? You know, we missed a few opportunities first half, had some penalties, um, had a ball down to the three yard line, they got called back, um, another holding call. Um, we've been fighting that yellow flag the last couple of games and did so again the first half of this game. So I missed a few opportunities there. And you know, our defense just kept playing hard um, and kind of stayed stayed in it and then we uh and like I said, our kids just stayed up. Uh, we did a lot of different things on offense, and um, a lot of guys contributed. Yeah. And uh, and we just kind of caught fire there. And and uh, like I said, just stayed really positive and kept kept believing. And and it just turned out for us, you know. What does a win like that? And does it do anything special for a team? I mean, winning is always good, and you learn a lot from losses. But when you get a, an amazing comeback like that, does it? Does it add some sort of a spark? It, it does. I don't think you can really overstate it, you know. Uh, and I know it's just a football game and all those kind of things, but just uh, the energy for the kids, you know, it gives them for the uh, the upcoming games, um, just the belief, uh, just the holding together, all the things we preach and, and, and the kids talk about uh, about being a team and, you know, yeah. staying up on each other, not not letting each other down, those kind of things. So it, it is really a – yeah, it really is. It's, it's really a uh, – a major contributing factor, I think, in a season, and then uh, as you progress through that season, and then hopefully it's something. And you talk about, you know, football being a microcosm of life or sports, a little mini lesson on uh, those kind of things when you face adversity yeah. um, out in the real world when it really counts. You know, never give so, up. Right, all those kind of, of things. So, yeah. you know, it's great to see all those things that you, you preach and talk about. And, and the kids uh, follow through with it. And they're the ones that, I mean, they're the ones that, re, that deserve the credit. They did a great job. Yeah. Our players did a great job of playing. And like I said, it was a total team effort. There was a, a lot of uh, guys that, that, that contributed and uh, stayed with it to get the final result, which, which was, it was, a, it was a very good weekend. Very, it's very exciting. And uh, really one of those things that you don't get to experience very often. Yeah, absolutely. So the news breaks after that game that your quarterback uh, has been playing with a torn labrum all year long. That's a pretty painful injury, right? Yeah, we've kept that under the hat. Um, he's wore the brace all year long. You can see it on, you know, as you're watching, but I tried to keep it under the hat a little bit, but couldn't really keep it under the hat anymore. Um, you know, it's happened to him uh, three times during games. Basically the shoulder, uh, what they tell me is, the shoulder basically separates. And then uh, the, the fortunate thing is, it seems to wear off pretty quick on him and it doesn't bother him on the normal hitting aspect of things. Yeah. It's just when he lands on it funny. So there's a lot of guys who play with injuries uh, and, and he's one of them. So um, yeah, but he's he's tough through it pretty well. That's a tough kid right there. I'm guessing it's his non-throwing arm. It, it is yeah. correct, Yeah, okay. that, which is good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's real good. If it has to be one yeah. side, it's good on the sad side. Yeah. All right, so uh, just a huge, amazing comeback win on the road. Yep. And so we've got the regular season finale this week, another huge matchup with a whole lot on the line, and we'll talk about that right after this. What 
What is COMC? A health center where everyone has access to high-quality, affordable medical, dental, and behavioral health care, regardless of insurance or ability to pay. Offering primary care, preventative, chronic, pediatrics, and OBGYN. COMC even offers comprehensive dental and same-day emergency care. A health center that focuses on every aspect of your health. Everything your family needs to stay healthy. At COMC, your health is our mission. Your time on the water is limited, and High V and Osage Beach knows it. Let us do the shopping so you can maximize your lake time. With our Isles Online app, you can have your groceries delivered or ready for contactless pickup when you arrive to the lake. With all your grilling favorites, snacks, fresh produce, and home to the lake's largest wine, spirits, and beer department, your weekend at the lake starts with High V and Osage Beach, where you'll find a helpful smile in every aisle. Holly Lift Boat Lifts. You've got your home at the lake and you've found the perfect boat. Now to just make sure the boat bottom stays clean and up out of the water. Holly Lift Boat Lifts. We've been the lake's choice for reliable boat lifts for over 40 years and we offer a lifetime warranty on our tanks. We don't just build boat lifts, we build Holly Lifts. We don't just build boat lifts, we build Holly Have you heard of vitamin IV drips at New Spring Wellness Center in Osage Beach? IV is a very efficient way to deliver all that goodness from vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, all in a hydrating fluid. Our IV drips can increase your energy level, your wellness, and help you feel great. We can accommodate groups in the comfort of our center in Osage Beach. However, we are excited to let you know that New Spring Wellness Center is also going mobile. Now you can save time and feel better by getting an IV vitamin boost at your event, like bachelor parties, weddings, golf outings, or even a company gathering. Call New Spring Wellness Center, and with a little pre-planning, we will come to you and boost your health. Back here at Camdenton, home of the Lakers on the High School Football Coaches Show with Coach Jeff Shore, coming off an amazing comeback win at Glendale. You guys traveled pretty well. You had a really nice crowd there. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that because we did have a, a, a large contingent of Laker fans. Um, I, I'm not sure we did not number the the opposing crowd, and wow. you know they they were a good team. They're five and one, uh, you know, ranked in the state, and and uh, so I was really pleased. Obviously, you know, I feel lucky that we play here and not there. <laughs> yeah, the final game of the regular season. That's at home. Yeah, against a really good Rolla yeah. team. A Rolla team. They got to come in sky high because they handed Levin in their first loss of the year last week. You know, they were my preseason uh, sleeper kind of, you know, I feel like they're a really good team after playing them last year. Yeah. And uh, and they, they struggled, they were they were hot and cold, and uh, but obviously they hit their stride and played a really good game against Levin. Of course, I watched it on film. Um, and they just, you know, they just beat them. They just played better. better. So, uh, Rala, obviously a very good football team. And uh, I, I thought they'd be close. I, I wasn't expecting them to beat them really, but then that puts now the pressure on us you know, we need to win Friday night if we want to uh, get on probably the better side of the bracket, you know, a chance to advance to the district championship game. So, yeah, um, you know, it's a big game for us. It sure is. It's at home. And Rolla comes in, as we mentioned, uh, off a win over our Lebanon. So what do they do? What do they like to do? You know, offensively, they're uh, it's kind of similar to Lebanon, honestly, but probably a little more diverse in their throwing attack. I yeah. uh, feel like they have a very good quarterback, uh, very fast. Uh, throws the ball well, so they're kind of hard to prepare for because they run a, a multiple different things. Um, they're not as much uh, ground and pound as you'd say as uh, they have that in their arsenal, but they'll run a lot, a lot of play action off of it, um, a lot of bootleg stuff. So uh, pretty hard to, to prepare for from the defensive end of things. They've they've got a pretty good tradition there at Rolla for high school football, don't they? They do. They've won some games and um, and they've done a good job there and and. Uh, so yeah, and they've got, like I said, they've got it going. They had a really good ball game. And I think their group is expected to do a lot and uh, had kind of a few uh, misfires early in the season. Yep. So um, they, they've got it now where they are firing on all cylinders. So um, you know, they're coming and playing us, playing their best football. And I feel like we're playing our best too. So uh, hopefully it's a good ball game. Yeah, speaking of diversity, you guys have at, keep adding stuff to your offense. Uh, uh, you know, you, you do wildcat a little bit, you change up quarterback situations a little bit. So you're throwing a lot of new stuff in there too. Yeah, that was a real conscious effort. Um, you know, went back to kind of 18, 19 plan, which was about 20 to 30% under center. 
running our conventional stuff out of our eye or power eye. Um, and then we've also got our, our, our Rattler set, we call it, yeah. Landon Thomas, um, which was good to us. You know, we used it. And then rolling Cam and Bear at quarterback, you know. Uh, you know, Cam brings a, a very, a very quick guy, a fantastic arm. Um, so they have to prepare for one thing there. And then you still got uh, the normal stuff you got to prepare for our, our offense with Bears. So um, those things uh, have worked really well, I thought, for us on, on, yeah. on Friday night. You know, on our, on our last drive, we had a, you know, it was a very well orchestrated drive. We uh, put together some really good passes. Um, you know, Kale Bentley caught a really nice one. Colson, a really nice one. And then uh, Bear ran a, a really good draw. And then we put Cam at quarterback and ran some, some keepers off that. He got it down to the one yard line where we snuck it in. So, um, you know, it was real, that diversity on offense, I think, is really going to help us and hopefully carry us, uh, you know, as far as we can go in the offseason. Yeah, and we've talked about it before. This team has been young. It's been growing all year. You learn from some losses against really good teams. Uh, and you seem to be playing your best ball here at the end of the season, which is exactly what you want. I really do. And you hit the nail on the head early in our interview where you talked about a comeback win like that, what it does for you. So, um, you know, I think that uh, we kind of broke through a wall there. and. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to the next Friday night and seeing what we can do. Yeah, absolutely. And again, that game's at home, Camden, Tennant, and Rolla, a whole lot on the line. If you win, you wrap up the number two spot in the district, which makes a big difference as far as your road to get to uh, the district championship. Absolutely. The way I have it calculated, that would give us a two, two slot. Um, that would give us two home games uh, if we could win those. And that would be the district championship game, wherever that may be. If uh, if Lebanon wins out, it would be at Lebanon. And if Rolla or, or uh, or Branson were to win out, then it would be at home. So um, that's that would be a nice road for us to try to take. So yeah. uh, so we're hoping for good things Friday and night. And this is a tough district. I mean, Lebanon, uh, this Glendale team that you just yeah. came back from in the fourth quarter, both of those teams really tough. This Rolla team you got to play this mm -hmm. week really tough. And then uh, some unsung teams like Branson Correct. that you mentioned, they've had a cruel schedule yes. against some really good teams. They're probably pretty dangerous. It's arguably the toughest district in the state, I would say, yeah. um, all classes as far as the number of competitive teams there. You know, you look at the other district on the other side, Webb City and Carthage, which are two very good teams, but I don't know that anybody else in that district has won a ball game. So, um, you know, as far as being a well-balanced district, we are in, in one of the toughest ones. Absolutely. Well, that's what makes it fun, right. I guess, right? So that's uh, the story on the Camdenton Lakers heading into the last game of the regular season against Rolla. We're going to move across town, talk with his buddy, Coach Shannon Jolly, over there at the Osage Indians as they get ready for Blair Oaks. We'll do that right after this. Have you heard of vitamin IV drips at New Spring Wellness Center in Osage Beach? IV is a very efficient way to deliver all that goodness from vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, all in a hydrating fluid. Our IV drips can increase your energy level, your wellness, and help you feel great. We can accommodate groups in the comfort of our center in Osage Beach. However, we are excited to let you know that New Spring Wellness Center is also going mobile. Now you can save time and feel better by getting an IV vitamin boost at your event, like bachelor parties, weddings, golf outings, or even a company gathering. Call New Spring Wellness Center, and with a little pre-planning, we will come to you and boost your health. What is COMC? A health center where everyone has access to high-quality, affordable medical, dental, and behavioral health care, regardless of insurance or ability to pay. Offering primary care, preventative, chronic, pediatrics, and OBGYN. COMC even offers comprehensive dental and same-day emergency care. A health center that focuses on every aspect of your health. Everything your family needs to stay healthy. At COMC, your health is our mission. Your time on the water is limited, and High V and Osage Beach knows it. Let us do the shopping so you can maximize your lake time. With our Isles Online app, you can have your groceries delivered or ready for contactless pickup when you arrive to the lake. With all your grilling favorites, snacks, fresh produce, and home to the lake's largest wine, spirits, and beer department, your weekend at the lake starts with High V and Osage Beach, where you'll find a helpful smile in every aisle. Holly Lift Boat Lifts. You've got your home at the lake and you've found the perfect boat. Now to just make sure the boat bottom stays clean and up out of the water. Holly Lift Boat Lifts. We've been the lake's choice for reliable boat lifts for over 40 years and we offer a lifetime warranty on our tanks. We don't just build boat lifts, 
we build polylifts. We dump tax a bit of lifts. We build polylifts. And welcome back to the uh, High School Football Coaches Show. You can see we've made our way to the School of the Osage, the home of the Indians, and head coach Shannon Jolly. Coach, nice win on Friday night. You go into Versailles and uh, dominate the second half, come out with a nice win. Yeah, it was just a, a nice change of pace for us. You know, we uh, had a couple errors in the, in the first half, and to come in and regroup um, at halftime and come back out and perform well. The thing I was most proud of is, uh, you know, our kids played well. I mean, there was a lot of good film in the second half for us to go back and learn from. So we felt like that might have been our best half of football we've played um, as far as fundamentally. So that was important to us. I'm guessing that's what you want to see as a coach uh, where, you know, you just keep getting better and better as the season goes on. You start putting things together and uh, it kind of all comes together sometimes. Yeah, you want to win. And um, it's a developmental stage of our program right now. Wins are, are really important for momentum and morale. But also when you come in on Saturday morning, you want to watch good film. What that means is everybody's doing their job. There are those rare occasions where you can win games and go back and the film isn't always the best. And then you got to kind of backtrack and talk to the kids about, hey, I know we won. But um, so Friday, the, the second half film was good film for us. And, uh, and obviously it um, represented us well because we played well. Yeah, absolutely. I've heard that coaches like you know, to win, of course, but then a few bad things so you can go in and yell at them a little bit and get them fired up for the next week. Any truth to that? No, nah, we don't. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> any yelling is probably lost on Friday night, but, uh, you know, I have found out the longer I do this, I don't know how effective the yelling is. I mean, it's an emotional game. You get into it, and, and we do have some tough conversations on Saturday mornings in film, but, uh, you know, I don't know if Saturday, Saturday morning is the time to be yelling at anybody. Um, Friday night's emotional and, and spirited, and, and it kind of goes a little bit with, without being said. Uh, those Saturday mornings are really educational. You want to come in and, and look and see. And as I always tell our kids, there's no other profession that you go sit around and every second of your task is being filmed. Yeah. So we've got filmed from the end zone, from the sidelines. So it's a unique situation. So it's humbling sometimes to sit and talk about what you're seeing on film because people aren't used to him being in that situation. So it's it's unique for sure. Yeah, there's like a positive and a negative to it, I would think, because nothing's lost. Everything's on film, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and if you screw up, that's not good. And although I was talking with Troy Aikman one time and he said when he made the move into broadcasting, he didn't know what to do with himself because he wasn't filmed every second mm -hmm. and he didn't know if he was doing a good job or a, a bad job. He just gotten used to it all of his life. Everything he did was on film. Having the ability to go back immediately, like we film every practice. So as soon as practice is over, the kids can, can literally go in and access the film and watch how they did. So there's not a, you know, any gray area, but that doesn't tell the whole story. It's like you can see on film some things, but then you want to find out why that happened. So there's, there's a lot that goes into it, but yeah, being being on film is definitely humbling sometimes, and yeah. you know it's it's fun to watch. I guess when you do <laughs> good things as well. Absolutely, you said after the game on our Lake TV post game show, when we interviewed the game winning coach, that uh, you were really proud of the way your guys handled some uh, being coached hard at halftime. It was an interesting term, <laughs> so I guess that means you were doing a little chewing at halftime, and and it worked. It, it's really not even about. Um, Chris, it's not even about chewing anymore. I mean, don't get me wrong. We have our share of, of moments where we get into kids, but it's about, um, when I say coach hard, coached hard, I'm talking about hearing the truth and not making excuses and not making it sound better than it is. I mean, when you're in a game and, and, and the, the, the end result depends on you doing your job, then at some point you have to be told. Um, I think anybody on your production crew, if something doesn't work out right and somebody doesn't talk to them about it or, or give it to them, and those are hard conversations. But on, on Friday night, the, the, the part that I was talking about of, of being coached hard is here's the truth. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, you've been taught this, um, we've reinforced this through practice, and you're not getting it done. And that's what I meant by coached hard about like, okay, when is it going to be fall upon your responsibility to do your job. And it's our responsibility to make sure they do. But at the same time, you know, you get to that point where it's like, okay, then, then, then I need to reevaluate what I'm doing or who I'm doing it with to make sure that we get the results that we want. You know, and it's things like that, things you'll learn 
playing sports and being coached like that, that that can help you out a big time as life goes on because you learn some of those life lessons about working hard and being coached and doing well that otherwise you might not learn. I'd give anything to go back and have my coaches communicate with me differently than they did back in high school. And what I mean by that is, man, I sure would have wanted to hear the truth. And the truth in my instance probably wouldn't have been what I wanted to hear, but maybe, maybe I should go back and say I wished I would have listened more or I wished I would have got coached hard um, so that way that, that you know, not doing my job or, or not being a good teammate was not an option. And, and if that's what you were doing, then you're going to get called out and you're going to be talked about. But our kids work really hard and, and, and they're, for the most part, great teammates. That wasn't meant to be a negative term. It was just like, OK, here's some things that we have to do in order to be successful in this second half. And they got coached hard and they responded. Yeah. And I got some great feedback from a couple kids on the message that we sent. But, you know, to, to make sure everybody understands, it wasn't a big, hey, let me go in and scream and yell. And uh, I've just gotten so far away from trying to motivate people by doing that. Now, I'm not going to tell you you don't get into somebody if they deserve it or if you want to, you know, create a reaction or response. But as far as motivating, um, you know, it's probably just the opposite, trying to put a little bit more responsibility on them and, and hopefully they see the value in it. Boy, we're getting some good coaching insights here with uh, <laughs> Coach Jolly today. So we've got Blair Oaks coming up this week. We'll talk more about that right after this. What is COMC? A health center where everyone has access to high quality, affordable medical, dental, and behavioral health care, regardless of insurance or ability to pay. Offering primary care, preventative, chronic, pediatrics, and OBGYN. COMC even offers comprehensive dental and same day emergency care. A health center that focuses on every aspect of your health. Everything your family needs to stay healthy. At COMC, your health is our mission. Have you heard of vitamin IV drips at New Spring Wellness Center in Osage Beach? IV is a very efficient way to deliver all that goodness from vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, all in a hydrating fluid. Our IV drips can increase your energy level, your wellness, and help you feel great. We can accommodate groups in the comfort of our center in Osage Beach. However, we are excited to let you know that New Spring Wellness Center is also going mobile. Now you can save time and feel better by getting an IV vitamin boost at your event, like bachelor parties, weddings, golf outings, or even a company gathering. Call New Spring Wellness Center, and with a little pre-planning, we will come to you and boost your health. Poly Lift Boat Lifts. You've got your home at the lake, and you've found the perfect boat. Now to just make sure the boat bottom stays clean and up out of the water. Poly Lift Boat Lifts. We've been the lake's choice for reliable boat lifts for over 40 years, and we offer a lifetime warranty on our tanks. We don't just build boat lifts, we build poly lifts. We don't just build boat lifts, we build poly lifts. Your time on the water is limited, and High V and Osage Beach knows it. Let us do the shopping so you can maximize your lake time. With our Isles Online app, you can have your groceries delivered or ready for contactless pickup when you arrive to the lake. With all your grilling favorites, snacks, fresh produce, and home to the lake's largest wine, spirits, and beer department, your weekend at the lake starts with High V and Osage Beach, where you'll find a helpful smile in every aisle. And we're back here with head coach Shannon Jolly. The Osage Indians coming off a nice win over for sales last week. Got Blair Oaks this week, the defending state champions. That's always fun when you got to play the state champs. Yeah, I mean, it's um, the Tri County Conference has got a lot of talented teams and coaches and players. And so, given the opportunity to come back here, we knew that. And, you know, being where I was at last year, we played some talented, you know, teams and talented coaches. So, um, you know, as I've always said, if, if you want a chance to, to be a championship caliber team, you want to play those types of teams. So we're excited about playing Blair Oaks this Friday. Yeah, absolutely. Blair Oaks is always good. They got a great program. They're six and two coming into this one because the conference is so good. They've suffered a couple of losses, Hallsville and uh, Boonville, I believe that they've lost to this year. So what is Blair Oaks like to do that uh, the Indians need to stop Friday night? Well, I think everybody's familiar with, um, you know, their dynamic quarterback with, with the, the, the hair um, kid. And, you know, and I've got to, the opportunity to meet his family a little bit and know his dad and they're just tremendous people. And uh, we talk to our kids all the time about special players like that. There, there, there's something about those kids that make them special. 
And from what I'm finding out about that family and, and being around them is, uh, you know, their work ethic and their commitment to their craft. And so uh, he's super talented. And that's not to downplay any other kids on their team. I mean, he's just a pretty special player. And, um, you know, trying to keep him from creating explosive plays, specifically with his feet, um, has been a task for everybody this year. And it's just something that we'll continue to talk about as well. We've seen uh, more of that in uh, modern football. I mean, you see the, uh, you know, the great quarterbacks that can not only, you know, throw the ball, but, but run. Do you change your defense a little bit to try to box those guys in? I don't know if it's changed so much because we, in our conference, you know, in high school football, running quarterbacks are not necessarily something new. So you kind of defensively, you'll plan for quarterbacks that can, that can move. And, and, and be mobile. But, um, you know, this kid's just, when you come across a kid that's really special, I mean, there's a couple of players in our league, you know, number one from Boonville out of the backfield was, was in a different, you know, kind of in a different gear, mm -hmm. if you want to say. And so there's some kids out there you have to pay particular attention to. It's no different in the NFL or in college. You'll see people bracket receivers or you have them what they call spy quarterbacks and try to keep people on them to make sure. So not any different at any level. It's just uh, more of a respect thing. I think for uh, you know as talented as a young man as he is. Yeah, absolutely. So it's hard to believe last game of the regular season already. Here we are, and then you move into the the playoffs. So man, a win on Friday night going into the playoffs would be just freaking awesome, wouldn't it? Yeah, and we just talked to our kids about it too. Is like that's 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 our mindset going in is trying to get a victory in week nine and roll into week ten. And and with no disrespect to Blair Oaks, obviously as talented as they are, um, if we're not talking about winning this game on Friday night then we probably need to be sitting in the stands with everybody else and, and put green on. That's what we keep talking about is, uh, you know, we're not in the business of being spectators, you know, to, to watch quality teams. We're, we're in the business of developing ourselves into a quality team and a championship team. So um, Blair Oaks is, is at the perfect timing for us at the end of the season, and we should feel like we've been prepared as much as we can to this point. So uh, what a great opportunity. Absolutely, and things still up in the air as far as the district standings go. A lot could change. You could host a game. You could uh, be on the road, so a win Friday night would certainly play into that. Well, Coach, good Good luck Friday night. Thank you for your time as always, and uh, it'd be great to see a nice win on Friday night. That'd be awesome. Yeah, Thank you. You betcha. So that is your High School Football Coaches Show for another week, brought to you by the great folks at COMC, Central Ozarks Medical Center, hy V, Lake of the Ozarks, and Jefferson City, New Spring Wellness Center, Polylift Boat Lifts, and Smoke and Jones and Jones Outpost.